Virgo. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for May 2022. I hope you have had a really great week. Um, I'm going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. And also keep in mind in the monthly readings, they are a little bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring right now, they may occur in the next week or so. Or two weeks. Three. All right, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Virgo? What would you like Virgo to know for May? Okay, Virgo, you are starting out with a Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving away from something that has been a little bit difficult, moving towards something that is a little bit smoother. Um, I will say that you have some guidance in this, so that's, that's a good sign. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It was something that was not working out and possibly something you no longer want to put any work into as well. Yeah, you are being guided with this, and you are not alone. Um, let's look at what's happened in the past. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you. there may have been a love offer that um, did not come through, or perhaps you turned it down. Um, but I see that whatever this was, you may have been worried about it in the past, but you are definitely freeing yourself from this. Yeah, you're, you are emotionally distanced from this in the past, and that's why you're now moving forward. Or perhaps somebody emotionally distanced themselves from you. Um, but this is what you're moving away from. Yeah, something that's not working out here. Let's see uh, why all this is happening. Five of Cups reversed. Yeah, you were very sad about this at one point, but I feel like you're now feeling more positive. You're beginning to open yourself up to, you know, positive emotions again. Beginning to open up to the idea of love again. Let's see what's on your mind. Yeah, there's a sense of anticipation. Success. Yeah, it's anticipation. Um, you're looking forward to things working out in the future. So leaving behind things that are not working out, looking forward to having more success in the future. Now let's see what's happening in May that you may not see coming. Good Virgo. All right, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so there might be, um, there could be some financial issues in May. Um, this is Pentacles after all. So there could be a small loss in May, but it could also be that there is some communication that either doesn't happen, doesn't come through. Um, it could be that it's stalled. And it could also be a promotion of some sort. Because remember, this is a general reading. This could also have to do with finances as well. It could very well be that um, if this is a financial reading, that you may be moving forward from a job that you no longer enjoy. Um, you may be quitting that job and feeling optimistic about you know, a new a new prospect moving forward away from a, a job that you just don't love anymore. I do see that there could be some kind of a small loss or a lack of um, communication. We'll clarify it. Let's uh, let's see how you're showing up in May. Could also be you're turning something down too. Ace of Pentacles. Well, okay. So that's that's actually really good. That shows me that um, you're showing up as either st uh, something brand new that is stable 
If it's in love, it's going to be very stable. If it's in money, it's going to be very lucrative for you. So it may very well be that you're turning down something over here in May. Let's see what the energy is coming towards you, Virgo, because that looks nice. That looks really good. And you have the mindset of success as well, so that's positive. It's like you're really making a change in your life. You're, you're, you're um, rounding a corner here. Show me the energy coming towards Virgo, please. Eight of Cups. Okay. So, the energy that's coming towards you is somebody that is uh, walking away from something that is not pleasing to them. It's not fulfilling them. Let's see Spirit's advice. The Sun. That's happiness right there. Now, for some of you, um, this could indicate a, a baby. So, if you um, are trying to have a child, this could be a very, May could be a very good time for you to, to uh, conceive. But that's, the, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So, it's a card of clarity. It's a card of happiness. So, you know, Spirit is saying that you, you'll be receiving clarity and happiness in May. And it looks like it. So let's see the outcome of May. Show me the outcome. Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords doesn't necessarily mean deceit. It can also mean um, avoidance of something. It can mean um, sneaking away from something. All right, so we'll clarify it. So don't stress about that. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Now, this is underlying energy, and it can have a couple meanings. So, it's in the reverse, So, and it could actually mean both. Um, it could be that the underlying energy here is that you have lost your passion for something, and we do see that you've emotionally pulled back from something. Um, it also could indicate that there is something you are passionate about that's trying to come in. And it could actually indicate both. So let's clarify what we have. I definitely see you, you know, the, the card you have in the center of your reading does indicate that it would probably be both. Um, why is the Six of Swords here, Spirit? Yeah, the Empress in reverse. So... Whatever it is that you're moving away from, Virgo, you are not feeling that it's going to grow, that it's going to become more. It's feeling empty. It's feeling like it's it's become barren. You may have thought that it was going to have a lot of growth. It was going to be great at one point, but it doesn't feel that way anymore. So you're moving away from that. You may also feel like you're not being um, treated properly. Um, there could be a sense here of someone not treating you with the respect that you deserve. So you'll be moving away from that towards something better. Um, three of Cups. So you may have um, found out about a new opportunity by you know, networking with friends, going out. Um, I do feel that you're moving away from something that's not working out very well, and it's going to make you make you happy. It's actually going to make you very happy. It'll give you a reason to celebrate. So, if this is job, um, I do feel that you will be ending a job, and you'll be celebrating with friends because this job is not growing. It's you're not becoming more. If this has to do with relationship. Um, it's a relationship that's not working out, and I see you. I see you going out with friends. I see you getting back out into possibly the dating scene. Let's see what happened here in the past. All right, we have the Seven of Wands reverse. We have the Tower in reverse, and the Six of Cups reversed. Yeah, you let some, you're letting something here from your past go. 
um, you're freeing yourself. So this is of your own volition. There was a tower moment at some point, and part of you kind of picking up the pieces here is you letting that past go. I do think that you, um, there were some outside forces that in, were involved in this. So I do think that you, you may have felt as if um, outside forces were, were blocking you in some way. There may have been a love offer given to someone else or it could have been somebody blocked a love offer in some manner. Yeah, I, I feel like um, you, you tried to overcome whatever this was, but it, it just feels to me like at some point you kind of pulled back emotionally and decided to just let this all go. But it, it did involve a tower moment. And so I feel like um, some of you may have avoided a tower moment by, by letting this go, but most of you, I feel like it did involve a tower moment and now part of you moving forward in your life is just letting this go, releasing someone from the past or something from the past. It, it does have the appearance though that there was some outside interference. Now this is all happening because you pulled your energy back and you decided to heal. I do think that you are now feeling more healed. The sadness has passed. You, um, you isolated for a while, but that allowed you to heal, Virgo, and I think that you're now feeling more positive and opening yourself back up to opportunities. You have success on the mind, and you want to be treated with respect. You want to be treated as if you are important. You don't want to be ignored. You want to be treated as if you're important, and you want a successful connection. You want somebody, um, whether it's in work or in love, who acknowledges you for, for what you bring to the table and treats you with great respect. So I get it. Yeah, it's good energy. And it's coming from a healed perspective, so that's good. Now let's see what's happening here in May. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Page? here in reverse, please. All right, so we have the Four of Wands reversed. We have the High Priestess. We have Judgment. King of Swords. The Hermit in reverse. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there's a connection here that ended. I do think that it, it, for some of you it's a marriage, okay? For some of you it's a marriage, for some it's a, a longer term connection, but regardless, it's an ending. Um, there may have been secrets involved with this. Like I said, I saw some outside interference too, okay? Um, I do also think that somebody, somebody's intuition is telling them to come back in your direction. Now, Virgo, this person may be an air sign. That would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody may be trying to come back into your life. It would be somebody that would have ended things or you would have ended things with. Um, but I don't feel like you would, you're receptive. So for those of you who have an ex coming back in May, you'll be turning that offer down. I don't see you being receptive to that at all. Um, I definitely see that 
there was something that ended because of secrets and I see you making a judgment call. Um, for some, there will be communication. You're going to be very fair. And I do see you, I do see you talking to this person after quite some time of not talking with them. You're going to hear them out. You're going to be very fair. But ultimately, I don't see you um, wanting to reunite with them. I do see you kind of putting the problems to bed, though. I see you kind of, um, you know, resolving the problems, but not really trying to grow the connection. So ultimately, it looks like somebody here is, is trying to come into your life from the past. And I suspect it's whoever you released. But you're not going to be receptive to this. So if this is job related, I see you ending something here. Your intuition is going to tell you to do so. This person is going to try to, whoever it is, um, somebody's going to try to keep you um, in that situation. And while you will hear them out, I, I don't feel that you are going to be receptive to that either. So some of you are moving forward away from a job or an opportunity. You might even be moving within the same company um, into another position. But I see you turning someone down, whether it's in love or whether it's in business, because you just don't feel that it's in your best interest. And I think you're right. So let's look at your energy, Virgo. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? All right, so we have the Ten of Coins, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, you've got you've got something big coming in here. Um, I see something long term. So you're thinking long term. You're thinking about your money. You're thinking about stability. You're thinking about commitment. And you're thinking about this from a healed, um, pers uh, a healed perspective. You you've recovered. So there is a lot of healing that's taken place, Virgo, and um, it was from a very painful ending. But you are on the tail end of that, and now I feel like you are opening yourself up. And as you're opening yourself up, you're doing it in a very positive way. So for those of you that there's money, it's it's job related, this is going to be a good move for you. I see it being very lucrative and long term. I see commitment and I feel like it's going to be very stable. It's going to really pay off. So for those of you that this is, um, you know, more personal, it's in the love area, you may very well be meeting the person that you are going to be marrying or involved with. Again, I'm seeing stability, loyalty, long term, and I'm seeing a new beginning. And it's all because of this healing that you've, you've taken the time to heal. Now let's look at the energy coming towards you. This is some, the energy of somebody who is walking away from something that is not fulfilling them. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. So it's water sign energy, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Fool. Yeah, so this person is walking away from something. They're going to be someone who is very loving, um, most likely somebody who is very intuitive, very truthful. This is somebody who um, moves pretty quickly and I also feel that this person is choosy. They're they're picky. They're not going to be somebody who just like um, you know comes upon the first person they meet. They they are very careful about who they offer their emotions to. This is a truthful person, and they want to take a risk with you. 
So they're they're walking away from something in life that is not happy, that's not happiness for them. But they're open to love, and I think they're going to tell you that, and believe them because they're telling you the truth. Um, and the truth is that they want to have a new beginning with you. Now, if this is financial, um, this is this indicates that when you walk away from this that you're leaving, you're going to um, very quickly begin something new, and it's going to be something that you're going to really love. So the new position or the new new job, new position, whatever it is here, it, it looks good. And I do see a lot of communication, although I do have to say there might be someone that you work with that might be a little argumentative. Um, they're not trying to come across as argumentative. They can just be sharp with their words. And I don't think they realize it. So be careful of that. But it's a new beginning for you. Spirit's advice. We have the sun, and that's really good. So why is the sun here? All right, we have the nine of swords reversed. We have the six of wands reversed. Now, in your thoughts, it's in the upright, okay? Hold on, I gotta grab that card. And we have the eight of coins reversed. And that is what's crossing your situation. So that's what you're moving away from. So you're moving away from a situation that wasn't working out, that wasn't successful, and moving towards something that is going to be very happy and it's going to basically um, all this anxiety and the sleepless nights all the um, crying the pain the depression that you might have felt for some of you it's it's going to be alleviated so spirit is saying you've got bright days coming you have better days coming it's an end to all of those um, lower vibrational, you know, experiences that occurred from whatever it was that wasn't working out, whether it's in love or in finance, um, from whatever wasn't successful. So Spirit is saying, you know, hold on because you have these bright days coming. Now let's clarify this Seven of Swords in your outcome. There it is again. All right, so it's devil. And then we have the knight of wands and we have the emperor. Okay, so yeah, somebody's gonna be, um, be careful because um, if this is finance, be careful because the communication with somebody that is in charge somebody the boss could be not not quite honest that somebody might come forward they would be a person that's in charge they would be a person that is um, in a supervisory or a owner or a boss position um, be careful about that it could even be from the previous or it could be from the new but somebody is going to come forward with very rapid communication and it is not going to be the most honest um be careful okay now the other thing that i'm seeing is i'm seeing that in order for you to take charge of your life virgo um, i am seeing that you're going to be kind of sneaking away from a situation and you know, you're not the only sign that I've seen that with um, in May. And I see you kind of rapidly doing that. Yeah, um, for some, I don't know who this is for, but somebody is very young and this is a father or a father figure. You might be moving away from that person, um, moving out of the home. You could be, um, <laughs> Yeah, you could be moving out of the home and doing it in a very sneaky manner if you're very young. Um, others of you, I see you sneaking out of a situation though, possibly with somebody who is a little older. It's an attempt to take charge of your life though. Um, the 
energy I see um, that you are moving away from is an energy that is not consistent. It's, it's an inconsistent energy. And it's from someone who is, a, who is either in charge in a supervisory position or, or a bit older. So just be careful with that. But other than that, it, it looks like it's your energy, that you're kind of sneaking out of a situation here. And rather rapidly, I have to say, it's an attempt to take charge of your own life. We see you moving out of this situation in the beginning of May. And by the end of May, um, I feel like you're, you're just going to slip right on out. But you have happiness coming your way and a new beginning. And I'm telling you, you've got really good stuff happening in May. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. Now, this is not necessarily just for love. It can be a good partnership. Um, so if this is financial, it's um, a big decision to be made, and it can be um, a great partnership. Um, it also can indicate, though, that you're, you're meeting a soulmate or have met a soulmate. And I feel like you'll be sneaking away to be with that soulmate. So, yeah, definitely leaving behind something from your past, though. A, a sense of not being appreciated and... I feel like when you do that, Virgo, they're going to try to draw you back in. Um, don't, don't necessarily believe what they have to say, and I don't think you will. I think you're going to turn down that offer because you do have someone approaching you that is very honest. So the person approaching you looks very honest. This would have to be then the, the person from your past. So, all right, let's, um, I'm going to pull from the Heal Yourself reading cards and see what we get for Virgo. Oh, look at that. You got alchemy. Interesting. Okay, so you have number 25. I'm going to read this directly from the book, and I'm going to show you the card because they are actually beautiful cards. Make sure you can see it. Get that glare off. Um, it's called Alchemy. The path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. See? Nothing is how it seems. You have an opportunity to take a big leap in your level of consciousness. It is extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer serve you. You have access to the energy of alchemy, which can transform the most challenging experiences into incredible gifts and miracles. Meditate and take action on your highest goals and dreams. They are on their way to coming true. Let go of your expectations. What is about to appear can surpass anything you have dreamed of. The most important part is that you are prepared and ready to receive. The energy around you is very potent at the moment, so make sure that you are using this time as productively as possible. Give yourself time for prayer, gratitude, and celebration. Wow, that is beautiful. And I can see it. I mean, you definitely are, there's a transformation taking place here. Um, so May is going to be extremely important for you, Virgo. So enjoy that. All right, I hope this has been helpful, Virgo. If you would, like and share this video. If this has resonated with you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free to do so. I do read all of your comments. Until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.